I strongly, strongly recommend one over the other. I just want to like show you a couple other products that I've really, really, really been enjoying. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and okay, so at the beginning of this year, it was my goal to do like monthly or every other month collective hauls of everything I purchased and everything that I received in PR if I did receive anything to kind of keep track of what is coming into my life and all this kind of stuff. Um, the last time I did that was July. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a while, but the thing is I actually haven't bought a lot. Um, so if you, of course, I'm assuming that you've been following my channel if you're watching this video. The last few months I have been a decluttering fiend and so it would have been pretty counterintuitive if I had been buying all this makeup I guess to replace the 50 to 70 percent of my uh, makeup per category that I've been decluttering so yeah I, I have a little bit of makeup and a lot of skincare and some perfume so I have brought into my life a little bit of makeup but this is actually PR so I'm gonna split this video I'm not gonna do it by category like makeup skincare perfume I actually want to split it up between what I purchased, so everything I purchased, spent my money on, and then I want to have PR pieces at the end. Of course, if you have tried any of the stuff that I am showing y'all in this video, I would love to hear your thoughts on them because I have some opinions on some of them. Okay, purchases. Let's do perfume because I have four new scents. I actually have more than that that I brought in over the last, since July, that's August, September. October, November, like three and a half months. Um, but these are the ones that I bought. So I have the Daisy Marc Jacobs, the Trio Pen Spray Set. And this includes the Marc Jacobs Original Daisy, the Daisy Oh So Fresh, which is more citrusy, and the Daisy Love, which is more romantic and girly. <sighs> Call me basic, okay, but Daisy, Marc Jacobs Daisy just, it makes me smell, or makes me feel very lovely. And lovely is kind of what I go for usually with my perfumes. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. I love all three of these. Um, if I do have one gripe though, with the Oh So Fresh in particular, which was the middle one in here, the Oh So Fresh, it really doesn't last. Like, I don't smell this on my body at all after maybe like two hours unless I spray it on my clothes and I put my face like in my clothes then I can smell it but yeah with the fresher scents the lasting power is often a trade-off so I was kind of expecting that <laughs> so I bought this it is it retails for $55 on both Ulta and Sephora sites and I also bought the Ariana Grande cloud and I just keep on hearing how this is supposed to be a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540, which I don't know if it is because I've never tried that $300 perfume, uh, but it smells nice. It's not my usual scent. It has a little bit of a stronger base than I am used to, but it smells good. For some reason, I'm having issues with my camera battery, which just happens every time. Also, this flame is like really, really tall. This is my first time ever lighting this candle. It was from a gift with purchase, but it's like Ulta brand, like an Ulta candle. So, I don't know, it's kind of freaking me out. Let's just move forward. I am really not good at describing scents, by the way. I'm so sorry, but I'm sure you could find YouTube videos on these products if you wanted to learn more about them. I will say that the Daisy kind of scents are more my style than the Ariana Grande cloud kind of scents. So let me just tell you my, my favorite perfumes right now are Versace Bright Crystal, I'm Basic, and Chloe Chloe. So if you are familiar with those kind of scents, that's uh, where I'm at. Okay, moving on. Oh, oh, okay, so there are just, I think, um, I think there are only like two other things that I bought in like the entirety of four, three and a half months. I don't know if that's right, but I, I truly dug through all my stuff and I couldn't find anything that I spent my money on. I admittedly have been getting a lot more PR than I used to because that's mostly for my Instagram and TikTok now because my my followings there are like way bigger than my followings on YouTube. So I did buy another Cosrx Master Patch set because I go through pimple patches. I have a big one there this week and I just needed to restock. So I bought this, it will always be a staple. I don't really care 
which brand of pimple patch I buy as long as they stick and they work. So yeah, there's that. And then another product that I purchased is the Cetaphil Gentle Clear Mattifying Acne Moisturizer. So this has 0.5% of salicylic acid, which is a BHA, fat soluble. We know what salicylic acid does here. This is actually not my favorite because the dry down is actually pretty matte. And I remember watching Dr. Dre's, she, she mentions this sometimes, that she loves this because it has a similar texture to the Aveeno like oat to gel moisturizer. It does not, in my opinion. The oat to gel feels like it has a little more body to it than this does. So when I use this product, I always wear sunscreen on top of it because I usually wear it in the day. And I always have to use like another moisturizer around my eyes because m my peri optic area is where my like skin feels a little tight sometimes. So not a product I can use alone, but um, I keep using it because I like what salicylic acid does and other than just making sure I wear a sunscreen on top, that's pretty much it's pretty much the only weakness it has. Oh, this is three ounces by the way, which is a pretty significant size for a face moisturizer and it's drugstore price. Okay, that was quick. That was everything I bought. Can you believe it? Um, everything else I have here are things that were sent to me in PR. So I'll go through them pretty quickly. This is gonna be this is gonna be like true speed reviews, like not in-depth reviews at all. It's more of a haul, I guess. Okay, let's start with some Octoly stuff. Um, there's this cloud jelly line from Herbivore that I uh, picked out for myself in the Octoly shop. And the <laughs> I don't really like this line, I'm gonna be honest. The cleanser, it's kind of slimy and it does foam a little bit, but it kind of burns my eyes, <laughs> which is not ideal. So not my favorite cleanser. And if I'm paying herbivore prices, it should pretty much be my favorite. It's not. Um, I do appreciate the glass packaging though. All of these have the glass packaging. Next is the herbivore cloud jelly. So this is like with collagen and tremella, which is a natural source of something similar to hyaluronic acid. It's a hydrating serum. The thing with this is that when you rub it in, it kind of like foams up a little bit and especially if you put a moisturizer on top while your face is damp after you put this on, which is what you're supposed to do with hyaluronic acid products, it like foams up with the moisturizer on top and it's done this with multiple moisturizers and it probably would be fixed if I let it dry down between, but I don't do that with my hydrating serums, so another not favorite. Ah! And this pink cloud moisturizer, okay, this really isn't bad, um, but it's not great either. It does make me feel nourished. I do like it as a nighttime moisturizer, but it is $44. And I actually have another herbivore moisturizer that I like way better. This is the Herbivore Aquarius Pore Purifying Clarity Cream. I just feel like you get so much more bang for your buck with this Aquarius moisturizer you know, compared to the pink cloud one because the, the highlight ingredients and purposes for this moisturizer is just like hydration and moisture. But this one has a blue tansy. This one has the BHA. So for my skin type, it really does a lot more for me. And the texture is just so like velvety. And uh, I definitely use this as a nighttime moisturizer, but I could use it during the day if I just use a little bit less of it. So that's just quickly me showing you what I got from Herbivore through Octoly. And Herbivore actually sent me like a little bitty, <laughs> like a teeny weeny PR package. It included this and another oil, but I'm only gonna talk about the lapis oil because I like this one a lot better. The lapis oil is really, really uh, focusing on the blue tansy ingredient. I've really enjoyed using it so far. It is a little bit more of a, it truly does feel like an oil. It's not one of those oils that just soaks in, <laughs> like, um, but it is nice to mix into my moisturizer sometimes, or just have like a couple drops on each cheek, rub it in, a drop on my forehead, and I will gua sha with this oil. I, I've been using it a lot. Okay, a couple other things from Octoly. I've really like been putting off reviewing these things. So let me first talk about these. So I have a couple of the First Aid Beauty holiday kits for this year. And I'm gonna tell you, I strongly, strongly recommend one over the other. So here I have the Your Future Looks Fab kit, and it includes three full sizes and two travel sizes. And here I have the All Signs 0.2 Fab Skin kit, which includes 
two full sizes and three travel sizes. Now just look at the difference in size for these boxes. And even when you look at the pictures, look at the difference in size for the products, right? Would you believe that these are the same price? So both of these are $49. Y'all don't do not get this one. This like the same price, the value for the Your Future Looks Fab Kit is so much higher because you get a full size cleanser, full size ultra repair cream, and a full size of the facial radiance pads. The travel sizes, at least for me, are products that I don't use as much anyways. So one is a little, this KP bump eraser scrub, and this is still a significant amount, but it's a travel size. And the other travel size is of the eye cream, which, it's pretty appropriate to have a travel size for for how little you use. It's the same products, like the five exact same products are in each of these kits, but just different sizes. So in the smaller one, you have a full size of just the eye cream, so, and the ultra repair cream. So essentially, this kit downgrades the size of the cleanser and downgrades the size of the exfoliating pads to give you a full size of the eye cream, which eh, for me is not quite the equivalent exchange. So do with that what you will. If I were to pick what my favorite product is out of these five, I might actually say it's the facial radiance pads. So these are some AHA physical and chemical exfoliating pads that I use maybe like once a week or something. And it really kind of helps hit re reset on my skin almost. The Ultra Repair Cream is nice, but I think it does the same job that Cetaphil or CeraVe does. And the Face Cleanser is very gentle, but it's very, very basic. It's a kind of a traditional, really foaming kind of cleanser. And the Eye Cream and the Bump Eraser, I y'all can kind of tell, I feel whatever <laughs> about them. Okay, the last thing I have from Octoly is I got like things from three different brands. So I have this Peach Slices Acne Clarifying Cleanser. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Peach Slices is kind of the daughter brand or more affordable sub brand of Peach and Lily, which I love. And everything I've tried from Peach Slices so far, I have really enjoyed. So I have their BHA uh, toner and I also have this BHA cleanser now, 2% salicylic acid. And I have no complaints. I have no complaints. <laughs> okay, oh, I actually got one more little like kit from NPR from a brand. And that is the Dermalogica. I got this little cleansing holiday kit. It's $95, $143 value. I would not recommend getting this kit because it's three different kinds of cleansers. Uh, I would just recommend picking one or two cleansers that you want to try from them and buying those and it will be less than $95. <laughs> so if I were to repurchase any of these myself, it would be the pre-cleanse. This is the oil cleanser that you use to get off makeup, sunscreen, dirt from the day, sweat, that kind of thing. And then you go in with a second water-based cleanser after that, but it's just a nice basic oil cleanser and it's not too expensive. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, let's do some PR makeup. So I actually got some PR from Charlotte Tilbury. So I have the Pillow Talk Luxury Quad, like the classic one. What can I say? It's pretty nice. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying it because it's, what, $55 for four shades? which is obscene, which is the reason I never purchased it myself. But now that I have it, I feel like one of those bougie girls who wears the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Quad. And I have to say, every time I wear it, I do feel very pretty. Well, when I tell you I have less than 20 minutes of footage and my camera batteries died twice after charging, I just want to like, show you a couple other products that I've really, really, really been enjoying. So hopefully I can just get my excitement through despite my sorrow. So <laughs> they're actually, these products, Maylove sent these to me and they are supreme. This is the Glowmaker Antioxidant Serum and I also have the Moonlight Retinol Super Serum. So let me talk about the Glowmaker first. I think this is the most popular product they have. Uh, Jessica Braun talks about it a lot. For probably a year and a half, I've been saying that the Timeless Vitamin C has been my favorite. It's 20% allosorbic acid in a um, like a dark pumped container. I think I'm gonna be buying the May Love Glow Maker going forward. The reason for that is that it is a 15% allosorbic acid and it also has the 
the vitamin E for like acid, which helps stabilize. But not only is this a vitamin C serum, but it also has sodium hyaluronate and it also has aloe leaf juice. Okay, this one. This is actually like I would repurchase the Moonlight before I even repurchase the Glow Maker. There are different kinds of products, but I like the Moonlight even more. And this is because it is a retin aldehyde serum, not retinol. Retinaldehyde is the same ingredient that is in Differin, and this is a 0.11% concentration of retinaldehyde, and Differin gel is 0.1%. This has the aloe leaf juice as the first ingredient, second ingredient, niacinamide. <laughs> it also has sodium hyaluronate, it also has camellia extract. This is, it just, it has the same active ingredient as Differin does, which is evidence-based, which it was, used to be a prescription from dermatologists, but now you can get it over the counter. And a similar product that you can buy with that same ingredient with even a slightly, like a slightly, slightly higher concentration with niacinamide, with sodium hyaluronate. Oh, I'm pretty sure this has turmeric in it too because of the coloring. Oh, maybe, maybe it doesn't not have turmeric, but it has this like yellow color. So I only use this at night, so the yellow tint doesn't bother me, but it, it you can see it when you rub it in. Nevertheless, that is all I have to say about this product, and I like it. I like it. I love it. I like it. Oh yeah, there's this one. This is the Purito Oat In Calming Gel Cream. I was really hoping that this would be a replacement for the Aveeno Oat to Gel Moisturizer that I was talking about earlier because it, it kind of get, can get expensive and this is a 3.38 fluid ounce and just ounce by ounce it's cheaper but I will have to say that this is not as nourishing as the Aveeno one. The consistency of this, I'll show you, it is just like a droplet of water and it really does remind me of the Purito Centella gel moisturizer as well. It truly is just like like a splash of water and uh, again good for the daytime when I'm wearing a sunscreen on top which has moisturizing ingredients but on its own like after I come home and shower and I just slap on a moisturizer and my skin feels like it wants just a little bit more uh, even though I have combination oily skin. So not my favorite, I'm gonna use it up like in the way that I said, but uh, I probably wouldn't buy this again. This was sent to me as like an add-on product to review in one of my recent Yes Style orders, and so there's my review. I uh, feel like this video was very disjointed because I had to film it in three separate 10 minute pieces. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so grateful that you watched to this point if you are seeing me right now. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember that y'all are my treasure. Find the beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourselves. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!